I'm fashioning the following sentence, and here's your sentence. I'm sentencing you to 30 months felony probation, and the probation is going to be to this court. You're going to be allowed to travel wherever you want. You do not have to live in the state of Illinois. You can report by phone. I know that uh, if you're going to try to make a living and do some of the things you do, you may have to go to uh, other, uh, other places, New York and Los Angeles. You can do those things. You will pay restitution to the city of Chicago in the amount of $120,106. You are fined $25,000, which is the maximum fine. And you will spend the first 150 days of your sentence in the Cook County Jail. And that will start today, right here, right now. Mr. Smollett, though the jury found you guilty and I've sentenced you as I have, you have the right to appeal the findings and rulings of the court or ask your sentence to be modified. To do those things, you need to file a notice of appeal in writing within 30 days. You may also file a motion to modify your sentence, which would have to be filed in writing within 30 days. Anything not stated in those filings are waived for purposes of appeal. If you cannot afford lawyers or transcripts, they would be provided for your charge. Do you have any questions? No, I would just like to say to Your Honor that I am, uh, I am not suicidal. That's what I would like to say. Okay. I am not suicidal. Okay. I am not suicidal. I am innocent, and I am not suicidal. If I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Your Honor, I respect you and I respect the jury, but I did not do this. And I am not suicidal. And if anything happens to me when I go in there, I did not do it to myself. And you must all know that. I respect you, Your Honor. I respect your decision. Jail time. I am not suicidal. Okay. But this is Jesse Smollett surrounded by cameras here. His 92 year old grandmother. We were also told that his mother and siblings would be in attendance. And so we see them here with his our Dave Savini. Let's listen in. Can you hear me? Uh, Jesse, Yo, you're, about, oh, you're, about, you, you're about to meet your fate. Do you have anything to say? Do you plan? Do you plan to, do you plan to apologize before the judge today, Jesse? Appreciate it, appreciate it. You're about to meet your fate. What do you have to say, Jesse? Move out of the way. I'm out of your way. Appreciate it. Hey, you don't shove me, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Watch it. You. Hey, you know, that's, that's called a battery. Hey. You just knocked the man over. Hey, hold on. Back up. Come here, get up. All right, as you see, his uh, bodyguards are getting a little bit violent with the, with the, uh, as he approaches the building late, he just tossed a photographer down. But Smollett is here, he's entering the courthouse, and he's now in the building. Oh, uh, kind of a violent entrance, shoving and throwing people around. One uh, member of the press corps hit the dirt.